Oh, oh look who's coming in. <laughs> Tara, did you do a change of clothes for this appearance? You look lovely in your gown. My goodness, I never see you in sequins. Well, Mauve yeah, is your color. It had to match my tiara. <laughs> now, we have some big news regarding Tara Grant's future here at WPRO. And that is Tara gets the 9 to noon <laughs> slot. <laughs> You're going to be a regular. Better than being pregnant, Gene Valisendi, at this point in my life. You have, ju- you have it just a little bit. No. You can- <laughs> Can you be pregnant just a little bit? You are stuck with me at 9 a.m., well, Gene Valicenti. Congratulations to Thank you. Thank you. That's a big slot. Yes. And you're going to do very good. I'm loving it. I'm thrilled and I'm thankful yeah. and uh, a ton of support, and I feel like it's a great fit. Love coming on after you. Yep. Keep the momentum going, the energy Keep up. Keep the party going, Tara. <laughs> Got a little Stevie Wonder. We're only get, we're only just starting over here. <laughs> we're only just starting. Spring chickens. Right. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. I mean, obviously, I've been here for a while, coming up on 10 years. Yeah. And, um... I've been here, there, and everywhere. Interestingly enough, I'm staying right here. Well, it's not like we could say Tony Mascara rushed the process the long day. Oh, he? stop I mean, that. Will you, will you like, be nice? It's only Monday. We're saying, let's get going over here. <laughs> Tara's got the gig. Come on. <laughs> no, I am uh, I am incredibly thankful to Tony's huge support yeah. and uh, Holly Paris as well. And, of course, you know, the big family here at Cumulus. How long have you been here? In September tw- uh, to September 20th, because it's my mother's birthday, it was the day I started. It'll be yeah. 10 years. You're here 10 years already? Yes. Wow, yes, that's a good run. That's a good run. Almost 10 And you're going to have 10 more at least with the big show 9 to noon. Let's what are we going to call it? <laughs> <laughs> Will we come up with a new name or just the Tara Granahan show? <laughs> well, since I caused a little ruckus about a topless rally last week, we'll call it uh, the Topless Tara Show. Oh, I was listening to that. I was going to say, if you're going to do that, let me know. I'd like to go over there. Oh, I think it's just going to be the Tara Granahan Show. What well, do you think? Okay, that's a good name. Yeah, to get my music back. I'm yeah. excited about that. Now, you know, the uh, the Irish step dancers wanted to uh, come in and do a little tribute yes. to you. Do we have the Irish step dancers? Oh, thank there? goodness. Heels up. <laughs> no. Is that my mother? Your real name is Tessie Manelli, but what? you changed it to Tara Granahan. Is that right? Yeah, just to fit in. <laughs> No, well, Granahan's my maiden name. I stuck with it. I started Channel 6 with yeah. Granahan. You're making phone calls, all your contacts. Oh, Channel 6. I never changed uh, it. Funny little story. You know, I got into you with, with you once, on a story once. Did you remember that? Yes. You were like day one over here. No. No, it was out. Yeah, you were a kid. <laughs> you yelled at me. And I ruled the roost when I was on the streets. And the I only think, reporper and I ever got to tussle I, with. I asked her something. I said, where's the fire chief? You wouldn't tell me. No, no. you. That's how was, I remember it. It was an underage stripper. <laughs> It was an underage stripper. Yeah. And I got inside what whatever that strip club was on the left. And I got my little B roll. Yeah. <laughs> and I came out and you were there and I think you asked me for the address of the girl's house. I said, no way, I'm not sharing. Wait, hold on. <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay, can I just t- this is like a foggy memory Listen for me. To- you remember this specifically? I do. I do. And did you I'm say, why do you, why do you want the address of the underage stripper? Were you, like, looking out for her or something? What? No, I just, <laughs> I wanted to be competitive. Yeah. I was being a, a bratty brat. But I do remember that. I know. So I they, thought you were mean. No, no. Now well, I know I, you. They did call me Mean Gene back oh. in the day. I must have had the mustache then. <laughs> you did. You did. Uh, all right. You were on the side of the road in front of a strip club, Gene. Good times. <laughs> Now, uh, Good memories. congratulations. What is the show going to entail? Basically, what you've been doing. Talk oh, yeah. radio topics gonna, of the day. Yes, and I like to break news whenever we can and try to get a little nugget here and there in the news and and then have some fun. You know, maybe do a little positive. Today, I yeah. want to talk to I have Arlene Violet in studio today. Oh, Arlene's coming in? Yes, she is. Nice. She's good. always been very, very good to me. She was with me on election night as well. So she's going to come in in the 11 o'clock hour, and she also wants me to um, introduce a group of children who are on the rise robotics and things like that yeah so uh we're gonna have some fun with that but all things rhode island and you know isn't it interesting buddy Sansi's on the front page of the paper today never a dull moment oh that the podcast mm-hmm. yeah well you were a buddy for how many years three or three years with him three like that? three right. yep yep so arlene's going to come all the way up the street to be with you yes you know, she could throw a rocket <laughs> hit her house I know, she's right on the corner there down there yeah so she's got some things to do in the morning and then she's going to zip over here and you know listen we'll we'll constantly try to uh keep the audience engaged, and they've been great to me, so yeah. I'm having a blast. Now, do you think talk radio is, uh, is is challenging for a woman to do versus a man? Because there aren't that many women doing it. There are not that many women doing it, and um, I, is it challenging? Well, I think in the beginning, my crossover was yeah. was a little tough to do, because you we're so used to sh- you know balancing everything, showing both sides of everything, and when you have to throw your opinion into it, you know, you're, you're, you're yeah. kind of, in, well, you're doing two lives, right? 
Um, well, I have a split personality, so it works fine for me. <laughs> but once you cross to the dark side, there's no going back, Gene. <laughs> yes, Dan. You know, he doesn't know what he's getting when I walk in the Oh, morning. I know. I've, I've so worked Dr. with... Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. We know Dr. Dan Paquette. He's, he's, you've got a good one there. So. Right. Well, do you enjoy doing it? I love doing it. Yeah. I love doing it. It goes by so quickly. Time is, is flying by. But, you know, when you go out and you meet people, it's a different audience. They're really part of the process, you know? When you're delivering right. the news, you're sort of talking to people, but they're not talking back. This is a, a whole different arena, so I, I do. I love it. Now, what did you have to do to get this? you have to fill out a form or something? What did they make you do? <laughs> what are you implying, Gene? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just what curious. the heck? No, like, uh, like, like paperwork, not even 9 or, paperwork or something? Do I have to apply? Like, what am I? What is this? The drive through It's cumulus. Maybe they want to, you know. <laughs> She's been here for 10 years. Now you want to know who she is? <laughs> well, it had to be the right fit. Now, yeah. Friday, do you know this? What's going to happen with 6 to 9 is what everyone wants to know. Oh, that's more big news. Yes, that's more big news, but we can't say it until Friday. But I'm going to break that Friday. Perfect. Right, just like I kind of semi-broke your story. You're on Twitter (laughs) all night long. (laughs) Big big day coming up, big day. (laughs) Uh, Well, it's opening day. I was opening day. Well, that's day. right. It's opening day for you, right. too. Right. I wanted to make people think I was yeah, going to throw out the pitch. Wouldn't that be awful? Well, congratulations. I listen to you on the way home. I Thank listen you. every day. Yeah, people should yeah. know that we we, we uh, text back and forth, you and I, yeah. and give each other this, that, and the other thing, and it's a good team here, yep. so people should know that. All right. Keep the party going. Keep so, it going. So it's nine o'clock. 6 to 9, Tara 9 to, uh, nine nine to, to noon, and Matt Allen, yep. uh, noon to 3. Dan York. And then Dan York, 3 to 6. And then a and big question, a big question mark. mark will be answered. When are we breaking that story? Friday. Friday. All right, very good. Congratulations, Terry Brownhand. <laughs> She's going to be a regular now, nine to noon. She got regular. the job. <laughs> I'm going to be eighty. <laughs> Call all your credit company card companies. I got the job. I got the job. I got the job. I got the job.